Hey, fish heads, Jen Crevasse, Jekyll Bates, and this is your weekly update. First point of order. A lot of you guys have probably noticed that I have been wearing blue gloves instead of the black ones, and I have to be honest with you, I don't like them. Um, they're thin. I go through a lot more of them. Yes, they were less expensive, but as far as nitrile powder free, I really like the Semper Force. So um, these are a lot more expensive, not just like a little bit. I think I got a thousand gloves for about 40 bucks on Amazon. I can drop a link below. They're efficient. Um, one of the things that I've noticed, I forget which hand it's on, but they tear like super, super easy. So I'm not real happy with it. I mean, they just, they just don't last as long. I've been able to get multiple day uses out of these Semper Force. So I can leave both links in the bottom for you guys. This is definitely my go-to when we can afford them. Um, this does in a pinch. Yeah, it's functional, but it's not necessarily my best choice. So now that that's out of the way, we've got a lot of baits to show you guys today. I'm going to go through some swim baits first, and then we're going to get into what we have available on the website. Some of them are interchangeable, some of them are not. Um, swim baits as far as customer orders, I've got these KGBs going out the door to Greg Jones. He asked for a shad pattern that had a little bit of red around the gill plates and on the tail. So we got that done for him. And then I also have a crappy. So on this crappy, he asked for it to be a black crappy and have a little bit of green on it. So I did that for him as well. So these two pieces are out the door to Greg. Thank you so much for supporting small businesses. Also, thank you guys so much. Last year around this time, I got contracted through Catch Co and Guggen Bates to do a thousand custom painted contenders, which turned out it was wildly popular. I am so grateful for you guys for the orders. Um, and always, always give a shout out to Ketchco and to Guggen Squad for their belief in me. I really appreciate that. So we made a thousand of these in four patterns. This is the Shimmer Shad. We had a Cobra Koi, which was the first to sell out, which is pretty cool. Um, it, it was spring when these guys dropped, so it was probably a, an easier time of year to justify that red, that fluorescent red color in the koi. And it's something that you guys don't normally see. So one of the things that, that the deliverables for them was to produce some stuff that you don't normally see on the shelves. And hopefully I was able to give you guys some really cool stuff on that. So recently you have been asking for them again because it was like a one-time deal. Um... I did have a few blanks that they were generous enough to give me. So the black eyes were on the original first thousand run. And then I have been painstakingly putting back in the Guggen Squad eyes that come with your bait when you get a bait into these limited runs. Now this is very limited. This is gonna be a case by case basis. So if you guys want some of these, I have a few of these blanks. At Jekyll Bates right now, um, my window of opportunity is closing because as we get closer and closer to show season, I'm really going to need to concentrate on the baits for shows and expos with Bull Shad. So we're looking forward to possibly, hopefully, doing something like this again soon in the near future. I will let you know, so stay tuned and drop a comment in the description below or under the description if you would like to see another cool bunch of baits painted for an occasion such as who knows spring this is the trout now this is a new one it's got the Guggen squad eyes back in it and uh, the reason I did not do that for a thousand baits is because you have to take the eyes out of a thousand baits which is two thousand eyes we had to take off oh two thousand hooks now four thousand hooks from a thousand baits two per something like that now that's right two thousand it's uh it's hump day so i can't count this is the bone belly carp and these are going to be headed out the door to a couple of customers uh, one was only able to purchase two the first time around so i'm completing his set um, that would be the trout and this bone belly to complete his cobra koi so i did paint those again and the shimmer shad and then i've got a shimmer shad going out to lee argyle which is gonna be heading out the door probably tomorrow. 
I don't know if you guys have stayed uh, up with Grant Langmore, but he recently uh, provided some footage to us from the Amazon and caught an amazing, beautiful peacock bass. And the bass that he caught on our bull shad, I think he was using a trick shad on some of his catches, some of the stuff he was using Guggen squad baits, but just a phenomenally beautiful um, peacock bass. So I have hopefully done some justice to immortalize the pattern. Uh, if you guys look at his Instagram, it's uh, Grant Langmore 7. I have uh, hopefully done it some justice. And I'm going to send one of these to him. And uh, just super stoked that I could uh, give him something that he can use as a keepsake. See? See? That's what I was talking about. They tear so easy. Um, give him something as a keepsake and uh, also as a thank you for fishing our baits and just kicking. He's a hammer, by the way. Him and all those guys. They're absolute hammers in the water. So love to be able to, to help him out there. And he didn't ask for it. It's just something that, you know, as a thank you for... And Mike didn't ask me to do it. I just, it was just such a pretty peacock. I had to do it. Had to give him one. And then I have two more. One is already sold. And I have one more that's going to go up for grabs. I'm going to put it on the website probably today. Um, depends on when this video drops as to when today is. But today in uh, in dog years is uh, November the, it's, I don't know, it's a Wednesday. So it's the 15th or 16th when I'm filming this. And uh, I'm going to try and get this out to you guys tonight. When I get home, I'll be working in the editing station. So there will be one of those. This is going to be going down. This is a trick shad that uh, Jeff Howell is going to be going down to the Amazon River this winter. And has asked for some real glittery, snazzy, super thick epoxy. Because let me tell you what, there's piranha down there. There's all kinds of stuff. So hair tail baits, they're going to get torn up. I've, we've got, Mike has made like a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of extra tails for this, uh, for this bait for, for Jeff. So that's going down there. And now let's talk about what I have left on the website. I've got a bunch of baits that are going to be going out to, uh, the McCoys. Yes, that's a real thing. And so Sean and, uh, and Mason, his son, Mason, I've ordered a bunch of cranks and then I've got some stuff that are duplicates to what they ordered that I'm going to put on the website and a bunch of other stuff that's on the website currently that you may or may not know about. It is cooling off so we're changing from iced coffee which I love all summer long um, to the hot stuff which is great. So it's early morning. Well for me I usually work I'm usually working by like 5 30 in the morning. Uh, at the computer and then I come into the studio and do a lot of painting and a lot of R&D and this time of year I'm, we're gearing up for the show so lots of painting to be done. This is the last of a special drop that I painted just because I wanted something really cool. Um, the stencils come from Insane Custom Stencil and this is a smaller version of a wildfire that I did on this really cool lipless ripping bait. And I'm gonna try and get the camera a little bit better focused. I don't know what's going on. So this is the brand new iPhone 15 Pro Max. And I don't know if it's just a camera glitch, but it has a little bit of trouble going from regular to macro to telephoto. So there's, there's some issues. There's still some glitches with it. But as far as the clarity and quality of the pictures and the pixels, it's really good. Um, this is a Dead Meat Custom Eye from Matt over at Dead Meat Customs. I'm going to leave his stuff and uh, his information below for you guys. So I have one of these left on the website for you. This is also available at www.jekyllbaits.com. These trout, which I think I featured on last week's um, video. A lot of these are going to Sean and Mason McCoy. I did some morning dawn. If you guys like these patterns, um, these just came off of the, uh, the clear coat rack upstairs in the clear coat room. This is a morning dawn. It was a special request and it's got some real cool glitter in it. So we're trying to get those dialed in and I think we were able to do that on this pattern. Normally you would see this on a plastic but some people are super confident with that morning dawn color so this is one of the reasons that I did this bait 
and I think it's going to be a heavy hitter. So super happy with how those turned out. I've got some really nice craws that are going to him. And if you guys see patterns that you want that isn't on the website, please let me know and I will do my absolute best to make sure that they get into your hands. Christmas is coming. Custom baits make fantastic Christmas gifts. So I do have a few windows that are open in my order queue line. I would love, love, love to be a part of that. So please consider supporting small business. This is a herring pattern. Georgia is full of deep, clear water lakes and bodies of water that support herring. And herring is a super popular color all through North Georgia, South Carolina. You got Hartwell, you've got Lake Murray, you've got several places that are just huge, huge herring lakes in this area. So that is the duo on the 100. The 120 has got three hooks on it. So this is the smaller of those two. A lot of you guys have been asking about the bent minnows. So this is a bent dead twitch minnow. It sits in the water like this. It's got a hook on the belly on the bottom, which is like that, and then a tail hook. And what it does, it's a really good dead, dead twitch jerkbait reactive bite. So it just sits, floats, and then you twitch it, and it looks exactly like a dying or dead minnow in the water. Really, really effective when you're slowing that retrieve down, when the water cools off, when you would normally see a dying shad spawn, not spawn, dying shad stuff on top of the water. And we've got that in one of my other favorites for the winter. I love throwing jerk baits. I love throwing lipless crank baits this time of year. Super effective pattern. You can rip it off the bottom. This has got really good sound to it. And this, I believe, I'm gonna measure it off camera real quick for you guys, but I wanna say this is a 60, no, nope, this is a 70 millimeter bait. So standard size, very similar in the way it swims and sounds in the water to those red-eyed shad from Strike King. And then we've got just a couple of little cool patterns that uh, I, I try to pay homage to the JDM stuff and the Eastern culture whenever I can. And this is the last one of these that's available in that 2.5. You can really see the shadows and the depth on this one. Just a fun, fun pattern. And winter into spawn, this color and the Rayburn red colors, this has got some gold flake in it. Great, 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 great. Cannot stress that enough, how effective red is this time of year all the way through. I have one Bullshed Resin Glide left on the website. Hand poured resin, don't get into sticker shock because these are nowhere near the price of a crankbait. So these guys right here have a much higher retail because they are hand poured resin baits. These are glide baits. These are some of Mike's first gill glides. Um, this is the six inch version of that. Awesome, awesome bait. Really, really good. It's effective all times of year in open water, although it shines uh, late summer fall. I have a regular six inch peacock available online. I'm going through the resin baits now of what's on the website. So I have one peacock bass left. Could be yours today. That's on there as well. And then I've got four. I'll just pick a couple of these up. But I have four of these beautiful color shifting dying shad pattern. And these were done from a pattern, a match the hatch pattern, from a live shad that was shown from the Ackworth Shad Shack. The last two baits that I have for you guys today could almost be considered swim baits. They're magnum crank baits. This guy is super effective. This is the perch pattern. There's a perch and a toothache pattern that come from Johnston Lures up in Canada. And just very effective single piece mega crankbaits. Um, if you're into that, which I am, um, 
my whole view of fishing has changed since I've been with Bullshad for almost four years now. So, and then this is that Rapala Magnum. This is a Rapala Magnum 16 in a wild trout pattern. So those are still up on the website. Go get them today, www.jekyllbaits.com. Thank you guys so much for listening. I hope I'm being able to teach you guys a couple of things, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.